everyone, how's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. So I want to show you uh, the little planner that I made for this year. Y'all have already seen the months of the year. Uh, I did videos on those to show you uh, the months. But let me show you uh, what I've done and tell you where I got the insides of the planner. So let me start with that. This is from 101planner.com. You go in there and there you can do either the 8.5 by 11, the big one. You could do this, the half size. So it's 5.5 by 8. Um, you have also have 6 by 9. I mean, there's all different kind of sizes that you want to use. Um, I am using the binder rings for the disc. And I got these from Joanne. I used my coupon. Got them pretty cheap. I think they're only $4.99 anyway for uh, a thing of 9 um, and then I just went ahead and I wanted daily because um, at the very beginning of the month I have this where it's like dates to remember, my goals for the month, my to-do list for the month. And then I have the month all together here so I can write down uh, my different uh, appointments and such. Then I even have a menu for this week to put down what I'm going to be making and then this is the week right here and anything special that I have going on it'll help me keep up with my water uh, any chores or goals or and my exercise so this is what I wanted and I wanted it daily to write down what I eat and uh, the exercises that I do and my to-do list I'm hoping this will keep me accountable for the upcoming year on uh, some goals I have in mind. So you have a uh, daily and then you start again with the week. And because this is half um, printed on a full piece of paper, what you do is you fold it in half. And because you do that, it's going to kind of look like this. but and but uh, this will be together and so I used washi tape on the edges to keep them together uh, and so that it looked cute and to use up some washi tape um, and it also helps me with the week because I use different tape edges or different tapes for the edges so I can definitely know this is the first week of this month this is all the second week, this is the third week, and the fourth week, the fifth week, and so on. Okay, so and then the rest of the months are just the same. Now again, you have to print it yourself on your printer. So you do have to have paper and ink in order to do it. Um, but what's cool is, as you can see, the monthly, I have this around, the border around like that for the month. For the weekly, I have this as my border. For daily, I have nothing for borders. That way it saves on some ink. And plus, in that way I can do a lot of writing that I want. Plus, I have some stamps that I use um, that uh, I can use in the planner itself as well. So, I chose to go this route because I, I wanted dailies. And I wanted to make it my own and make it the way that I want. And that's what I like about this website. I'm not being sponsored, by the way. It's free. It's totally free. You just go there and there's the lady that does it sweet enough to put all this on there. So, um, so that is okay. And what I use to make the holes here is my cinch, right? So, um, but I don't, I mean, it's okay. However, I think I'm going to rather have round because what I did with this is I just used um, my hole punch, my just regular office hole punch to punch these out. And I'm going to show you that in a minute because I'm going to do the real cover on here in just a second. Um, but I wanted to mention before I do do that is this will only hold these little rings. This is like the medium rings, I believe. They only hold for me two months because I have the dailies in here. I don't think I wanted much fatter than that. That way if I wanted to add something in here, I can and it will not be too fat. Um, I don't think I want to put March in here because I feel like March may be a little too 
too fat uh, for the rings. I do have some larger rings, but I kind of wanted to keep it smaller. You know what I mean? So, with that said, um, I went ahead as well and I got off of Amazon this uh, planner punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. And it is, and then I had to buy the ones that have the little half moon um, because that's what I ended up, I believe, I want. But because uh, the cinch is a little bit different, I have to kind of, I'm going to have to end up making a new cover when I switch over to this, which will be probably, like I said, in March. So, but for right now, I want to go ahead and make the cover for January and February. I mean, I print these out. This is my thing. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I can print them out and eliminate it again. So, it's no biggie for me to do this this way. So, let me show you on the lamination, though. I mean, I'm sure most know this. But, if you can see, there is like a lip around the paper. You don't want to cut into that because if you do then the paper is going to fall out. It's not sealed right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right up to there. That cut out. And now what I want to do is um, what I did because this is a little bit bigger, of course, because it's my covers, than my pages and this, my, my months, right? So I just took my months and I kind of just eyeballed the same space between these two and I just marked it in order to know where I needed to use my hole punch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this like this. So I can have this on the back side. Um, and okay, so now that I've got them marked where I want them, I'm just going to take my hole punch and punch it out. A cinch, or if you don't have, um, the We Are Memory Keepers punch. You can still do this. You can use a hole punch. I mean, I think you can probably get those very cheap Walmart or something. So now that you have this hole though, we're gonna have to cut a little slit like this. Just like we have to do when we're using the cinch. Because the cinch is also solid. And I have a video on that. That's um, on my how to do an art journal. And I'll try to remember to link that down below if you want to go take a look, see how I did that. So there's the, the cover. And I laminated it because I want it, you know, I want it sturdy. And then it should fit right in here. Uh oh, it got off a little. It's okay. I'm going to make it work. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so there we are. And I like that so much better because I like the to use the round. Um, I think it just moves better on the these discs here. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing on the back cover. And then that will be January and February. Now I will, what I also am going to do is I'm going to take um, my marker and I'm going to show you how I did this. I just made a little template of how big I wanted my little tabs to be. Because you know when you have them all in your book, 
you want to be able to know where the months are with the tabs. So I just made this template. And then what I did was, let's say this was my next thing. I put a mark where January ended. And then I took my template and I put it underneath that to know where February went. And then I just kept doing that on down the line and just cut it out. So, but I do want to take... Um, and of course, if you have a stamp, you can use a stamp, but I just was like, I think I want to just use my own handwriting and write out the month like that. And then possibly even take some ink, maybe like purple ink and just ink the edges of that just to, sh you know, make it pretty. Or you could use washi tape. You don't even have to do this. You could just use a piece of washi tape together to show where your months um, are divided, you know. It's your planner. You do it the way that you want to do it. You can make it as fancy or as simple as you want it. And in that way, it's just a little something. Okay, let me show you the We Are Memory Keeper. Now when you get just the keeper itself, um, you're gonna come, it's gonna have just a round holes, right? Without the slits. And on the back of, of it, it will tell you what you need to do if you want the rings. So it tells you what numbers. I don't know if you can tell because they're very small. But there's numbers written on here that you put these. Now, like I said, I went ahead and got the other set that just have the half moon. And that comes with this piece of paper. And so I played with it and played with it. And um, because I want to use eight discs, I want to, um, I had to kind of figure out where I needed to do the middle. So, I have to put it on number 6, number 18, because I'm using this 5.5 by 8.5, 31, and 43 for the first round. You do two rounds of this, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So, let's just take the first few pages, and I'm going to just... Set them on in here. Did I put it in the wrong way? Nope. It's number 43. Okay. Mike can only take uh, one set of paper at a time. Here, let's try that. <laughs> okay. So, this paper... The first two things of paper, because of the way that the month is done, you kind of have to cut it in um, the way that you do it. The part that's open is going to stay open. But on all the other ones, this part will stay closed and the open part will be where the tape is. Um, just that's the way that I found out on the small one that you have to do. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to just press that down. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to flip it over. But what we have to do now is I have to put this on number 41. Only because of the way that the, the um, because I want eight rings. And you just do like that. And then, voila, you have your holes now. And like I said, it can't fit into this one because this one is a little off. Um, because of the, just the cinch is a little bit different. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And, you know, same thing with this. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on 43. And even your cover is going to stay the same. So I really like this punch a lot better. And um, so I'm glad that I found it on Amazon. Oopsie, see, I was about to not move that. I had to move it. So that it will be in the same spot. And then there you go. So 
so and they will line up perfectly well like that cool huh so that is my planner I hope all this made sense um, I did tell you I was going to tell you what the months were again the months are on my Facebook group for free if you want to download them and cut them out and use them for your own planner or for whatever I don't mind go ahead I give you permission um, but the the cover says it all with a song in my heart so I'm guessing a lot of you know that these are lyrics from songs so and of course Baby is cold outside is from Baby is cold outside. It's it should be it started out with a kiss and that was somebody told me by the killers. And then I'm just a fool for you is from um, linger from the cranberries which they're from Ireland. So that's how I got to that point on that. And then um, a wondrous beauty I see is from a hymnal. And um, so I just thought, you know, springtime, you do see a lot of beautiful, beautiful things. So um, One Love is One Love by YouTube. YouTube. Oh, my Lord. YouTube. <laughs> I found the greatest love of all is I found the greatest love of all by Whitney Houston. I Want to Ride My Bicycle is I Want to Ride My Bicycle by um, Freddie Mercury and Queen by Queen. Summer Days Drifting Away, of course, was in Grief. Grease, Summer Days, uh, by Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. The Autumn Leaves of Red and Gold is from a song, uh, The Autumn Leaves of Red and Gold. It Was a Graveyard Smash was from Monster Mash. Um, I forgot who sang that, but you know who that, what the song that is. If the Sun Refused to Shine um, is Thank You by Led Zeppelin. And of course, because in November we are thankful, so... And then it's the most wonderful time of the year is the most wonderful time of the year by several artists, but my favorite is by Andy Williams. So there, there you go. So I hope you knew what the mystery was and um, I hope that you enjoyed the series. I enjoyed it. Okay, I just wanted to show you, I think I know why it kind of went funky a minute ago. It's because I flipped it. So, um, but I kind of, Sort of, kind of, fixed it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to use this again. And I'm just going to put it up against like this. And I'm just going to punch it out. And there we go. So there it is, front and cover. All right. So there you go. Um, I hope that this uh, inspired you to create a planner if you wanted to. Let me scooch out. And, um, you know, I'm going to link down in the description where you can get the planner information. Again, it's free. Um, also, uh, down below is a link to my Facebook group where you can get the cover and you can get the months of the year if you're interested in that. You just need to become a member and agree to our rules. Uh, there's a lot of other freebies on my Facebook group. And... Um, I will also try to remember to link the We Are Memory Keepers, The Punch, because I think this will work out a lot better for what I want. Um, and it's, I think this was $14, and then I think the extra set, like this set right here, um, was $9, I believe. Uh, so $25 for that. I think that's okay. And... I'll try to remember to link down below my uh, video that I did on, you know, how you use the cinch, which is pretty much, you know, the same way we just used this for March. So, all right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it. 
and uh, share it if you wouldn't mind. I'd appreciate it. All right, y'all, y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.